In my previous video, you saw how I have made this round decorations, these things, and attached it to my scarf, which you can see here. And the same method can be used for a mouse for your cat. And you see, I have not finished it, so I will show it later for you. And for making an Easter egg. So you start with the same small ring. Here I have chain three. Now I'm working one slip stitch into this first chain. Now I will work seven single crochet stitches into this ring. Here one, here Oops. Here two. You just place all your stitches into the ring here. Until you have seven single crochet stitches. You see, I have almost closed this uh, ring here. Now it's better to count one, two, here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh. I know that the many people work in spirals without making um, the end of rows, but we can uh, work with um, slip stitches made in our first chain here. This is our first chain and we'll make slip stitch. And I suggest here, I suggest you mark your last um, slip stitch with a marker here. I'm, I'm always using pins as markers because uh, I don't lose them. Because markers, uh, they're things that they're easily lost, so I prefer pins. So now we will work uh, increases. And in our first row, in our first round, we will work two single crochet stitches in the same stitch. Here. Here is the same stitch and then two single crochet stitches in next stitch. And so we work like this, two single crochet stitches in each of um, our um, single crochet stitches uh, in the previous round. And we finish the same way by working here slip stitch we work slip stitch here slip stitch in our first stitch so I'll undo it because I have already made um, the half of this piece with this yarn I don't have much of this yarn, you see, it's a special yarn, I can't uh, uh, name you, um, give you the name of it, because uh, I got it from a friend, and uh, it's just uh, a very soft, I suppose it's acrylic, very soft acrylic, and you see, it's a bit difficult to unravel all stitches, but uh, you can use any soft yarn that is comfortable for your hands because when you do such small things like amigurumi you probably will work with a very tight tension and your fingers can um, hurt and actually you can break your hook because i did it once when i worked with uh, something I, th I think it was wool and i just broke my hook the the head of my hook was broken. So anyway, uh, I haven't done it because you will work in your uh, Easter egg or in your mouse, you will work increases 
here all the way at first you will work more increases as stated uh, on my website you can see how many stitches you will increase in each round until you come to the place where to the round where your piece is half of the needed height for example if you work if you are making a mouse you also stop increasing somewhere in the middle if you need to work um, uh, a longer and an elongated object you will work more rounds without increases for example here i do have a few rounds without increases which you can see on my website so uh, we have increased let me check I i'm checking uh, the um, pattern on my website that is published on my website concept creative um, club concept creative club is actually where i announced uh, the release of new patterns or where i post some uh, something like this like this uh, small and uh, free objects uh, but if you would like to purchase garments or um, accessories uh, i suggest you visit the contact creator store uh, slash shop and you will see lots of uh, interesting garments or interesting uh, accessories <laughs> sorry uh, allergy so as I said, here we have, in first round, we have increased two stitches, two single crochet stitches in one stitch. In next round, we uh, increased, um, we made increase, let me see, uh, yes, we worked uh, one single crochet in each of two single crochet stitches, and then we worked two um, an increase of two stitches and um, then we work fewer and fewer increases and now this is the round where we start decreasing by the way uh, if you work an easter egg it is probably better if you have a yarn with short colored sections here i have for example you see for the length of my finger each section is as long as my finger yeah like this so anything suitable and if you mm, uh, because i don't know the thickness of this yarn i just took um, a pencil i don't have pencil right around here but imagine uh, this is the pencil imagine okay this this is the pension you will wrap your yarn like this and you will measure how many reps here how many reps are per inch so you just wrap your yarn per inch very tightly or around other objects like your hook just make this wraps and You just measure the width of one inch and count how many reps are per inch so for example in my piece they were 10 reps per inch so this is uh, the thickness of my yarn and i'm using a hook three millimeter but uh, you just uh, see depending on how tight or um, loose your crochet you just see that you're working pretty tight so you see even without any stuffing uh, my stitches are pretty tight and if you don't have um, such colorful yarn for example here i have worked a few pieces with a different yarn uh, i'll show it later how i did it for example here it's just a tapestry technique where you work with one yarn while the other one is covered 
by other stitches. So we came to round, let me check. Here I have made eight rounds, uh, rounds, um, round seven and eight are without any increases. I just elongated the subject, this object. Now we will decrease. We will wor we'll work. I will let this pin here because it shows the end of round. You will work one single crochet in each of uh, six stitches here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we work cluster, two single crochet cluster across next two stitches. Why cluster? Because I find it easier to, to write cluster than uh, double crochet, then two, mm, let me check, uh, uh, single crochet, two together, it, because it's an abbreviation. Cluster is just um, two stitches work together in this pattern or more stitches work together so wherever I write cluster it, it, it also simpler to to write skip cluster uh, for example if you work um, two stitches together or three stitches together they all count cluster and if you they, they are all clusters and when you work Next round, you just say skip cluster, skip cluster without specifying whether it was cluster of two stitches or cluster of three stitches. So to make a cluster or two single crochet stitches together, we insert our hook in one stitch. Here, yarn over. We do not work it. We insert our hook in next stitch. Here, two stitches together and yarn over and here cluster made. A cluster is one stitch, okay? You just decrease two stitches. Now again, we work one single crochet in each of here in each of one, two, three, four, five, six. You see, it is better to take, to choose this color for yarn with very short sections, like the length of my finger, and then you won't need to change the colors. That will be interesting. But if you don't have here, when I come to this place, I will show you how to work with two colors at the same time. So we work another cluster, yarn over, Pull through, yarn over, and yarn over, and pull all through all these stitches. Now we work one, two, three, four, and here. We change our yarn, we place our previous yarn here, and then we work the stitch with new yarn. It doesn't matter uh, in this particular egg, it doesn't matter whether you will work uh, this upper loop with uh, this yarn or with another yarn, doesn't matter, just uh, work let me see, one, two, three, four, five, and here, six. Here we work six stitches with another yarn. And then another cluster, here, oops, insert the hook here, 
into the hook here and yarn over cluster knit so you see uh, we need and we work again here let me I, I don't want to remove this uh, pin because we need to count something here And then if you if your number of stitches differs and slip stitch okay if your number of stitches differs and then we place our pin into slip stitch you just uh, uh, decrease you work these clusters as many times as needed in your round for example you see the number of stitches was um, for example 30 or 40 and in next round you see that the number of stitches should be 35 uh, you just decrease that number of stitches for one decrease you just work these clusters now we work around um, let me check around 11 we start with cluster here so just make sure you have the necessary number of stitches uh, per round as written on my website or maybe you would like to decrease uh, with a different uh, speed with a different number of stitches it doesn't matter as long as you decrease your um, object will get smaller and smaller like this here yeah, like this nose so around 11 we work one single crochet one two three you see i'm working with this piece of yarn my knot uh, but yes generally i would like to work with this yarn i just i unfortunately i had only eight meters of this and this piece needs at least 11 meters so uh, i'm using this different color and i think it it gives a nice um, shine here and uh, actually it's it looks also interesting so now we work another cluster here one two and then i will change yarn i will work here i will continue working with with this color here one two so now I don't need this yarn I'll put it inside I can use it as stuffing at a later stage now again we work another cluster I don't count stitches because I just see of course I here when I work and don't count stitches it's possible that I will have another number of stitches one two three especially while I'm talking because it's difficult to count and talk at the same time but just uh, uh, decrease stitches equally across the row your number of clusters then your number uh, your clusters should be placed equally spaced in this row maybe you will work fewer 
maybe you will work more so you see i'm gradually decreasing this round subject now and i don't count my stitches okay and here we will come or here i will remove this and here we will work yeah this is my slip stitch yes we have this uh, not nice piece but actually it doesn't matter here i don't think you will um, uh, see that you have uh, made slip stitches here uh, but it doesn't matter you can work in spirals as well without slip stitches now we came to round 12 where we work one single crochet in each of two i'll place here this is my slip stitch now we work to cluster here and again two single crochet stitches one single crochet stitch in each of two single crochet stitches and then two single crochet cluster like this and then uh, if you would like to make this mouth if you understood how to make this you just uh, jump to the end of video where i will sew these pieces and make uh, these little ears because here is pretty the same work see this is the end of my yarn i just hope i will have enough of it maybe i will again use this yarn just to make sure i have enough or maybe i will finish uh, it's possible that i will have to finish with uh, this piece so uh, two single crochet stitches in each stitch and now cluster here cluster and again two single crochet stitches here and then again cluster we are making this egg rounded and rounded and again one two and you always uh, look at the diameter of your hole when you see you still can stuff your egg uh you can continue uh, when you want um, be able to put anything inside then it's time to stuff your piece so this is the crease okay now in next round we will uh we will work two single crochet cluster one single crochet in each of next stitches then again two single crochet cluster uh, one single crochet in each of next stitch you just try to work clusters in a different place not in the same where you work in the previous round and again here here is our stitch we will work here our cluster 
and here one single crochet in each stitch i think i manage i will manage with this with this piece because it's almost there i'm almost at, at yeah one cluster here again one single crochet in each stitch and here is our cluster yes we did it i'll make sure i can put something inside this round object you see the hole is pretty small i will use stuffing here i have you can put uh, um, rest of yarns but for example here i have old pieces from uh, my pillow this was my pillow stuffing the pillow got older so i'm using this stuffing from my old pillow but of course you can buy a new one especially if your child is allergic because um, in all these old pillows old mattresses um, there might be some insects living that kids get allergic actually some adults too for example my my kid was really allergic to all these mites i think they called they're called mites and he's really allergic to them but now not anymore it was when he was small but now he's okay and anyway it's it's not for my kid okay it's just for my cat i will give both these things to my cat to play with because she loves this small nice objects she really loves it and you see you don't see any stuffing here because my stitches were worked pretty tight so if you see your stuffing is visible here uh, it's better to use a smaller hook so I'm continuing here. This is my last round where I will work two, uh, two clusters in across every two stitches. It will be a bit difficult now, I know. I'll put this inside because well, actually uh, I can leave it as a hanger uh, I'll use it as a hanger okay mm. next because you see this yarn is soft but uh, it won't uh, hold any stretch so I can't use this as a hanger this one is better for this case okay one two here we work like this and then another cluster now it's it, it's getting tighter and tighter i don't know if you see it anyway you can always place on a, uh, choose another speed here this is my cluster okay what do we do now what do we do now yeah i think it's just enough clusters i will take out this yarn very carefully because you see how it is i can really can break so 
Now I'm using my tapestry needle here. I'm using my tapestry needle to What we'll do, we'll gather all these stitches from my, our last, careful here, we'll work, don't, I won't pull tight because I'm afraid I will break this yarn, but you will gather all these clusters from your previous row here and and really try to try to gather every stitch every stitch like this And then your last round, your last piece, you will you will do like this. You'll pull it through the whole egg. Yeah. Very, very careful because you want to close the hole. See? The hole is, the hole is closed here. Yeah, I just make it rounded. But I think it's pretty. Okay, what you can do, and I will actually do it, you can again, again, you sew it through your egg. Here, careful, sew it back and forth. And Mm. from your remaining piece you can work a chain yeah, let's make a chain and you, you will use this chain as your hanger and actually uh, when you make the mouse this mouse it's also there is also a chain, but it's a chain with single crochet stitches across it. So to make this colorful hanger, you can work. You see, now the yarn is a bit stiff for my hook, but you can make a chain that will hang on it and if you work a mouse you just cover you just cover each chain with single crochet you just work backwards so for example for a mouse this will be a sufficient um, mm, sufficient length of tail but I would suggest that uh, the tail of the mouse is here, uh, of your mouse is here, and here will be the nose. Here I have finished. This is the nose. So you just, when, when you um, work your last uh, stitch here, and you will pull uh, the yarn through your rounded piece, you just work the tail from here, from this place. And then you work single crochet stitches in every chain, and then you will. Um, again, uh, hide the end of yarn here inside the round object, and this will be your uh, your mouse. So let's return to the mouse. Here is my last round here, and I will make a nose. But before I make a nose, I will show you how I will embroider eyes. Here I have already embroidered one eye. I will use a, a different yarn. 
here is a thread a blue thread that you can embroider this i wouldn't uh, i would suggest not to use this special small eyes because if you give it to your mouse oh to your cat your cat can swallow it so it's not good to give small things to your cat and actually try uh, you need to make sure that your cat won't swallow any pieces of yarn because you don't want your cat having it in her stomach so you just use your imagination and give your mouse here give your mouse a nice pretty look maybe maybe i'll manage it maybe i'm not you know it's a handmade thing and every handmade thing is unique so maybe i'll return to another eye and return you just pull your uh, pull your thread here between the eyes we just pull it there like this ah i think it's just it's got too tight but i want it i want this piece to have a big bigger eyes anyway you see that at this time my eyes the this one got bigger than this but after i finish this video i will definitely uh, return to another eye and make them and make them of the same size yeah uh, uh, uh. I'm trying to get under this eye and give it some here like this. So just embroider your eyes as until you have you like them. So I will return to them because I will embroider better. But generally you just work back and forth here, back and forth, back and forth, and then you here is how I move between the eyes. Oops, sorry. This is this handmade. But at least my cat won't tell me that the eyes of the mouse don't look as the eyes she's used to see because she has never seen a real mouse. Just the house cat we don't have no mice here no we don't have them i don't know so now it's better i think uh, i think yes uh, and then you um, tighten your knot you pull through the your object several times to fix this to fix the tail i'll do it later here i will show you how to make ears ears as you see i have here is a distance of one finger here and i'm trying to make another ear here here and for this I have attached two pieces of the same yarn like here and yeah this is my knot this is my knot oops, oops, oops. yes this is my knot now I will pull one 
one loop and here I will work uh, let me see how many uh, yes I have worked three single crochet stitches with yarn held double here I'm holding my yarn double and then here is my loop I'm working here again this is my loop yeah this is my loop just So we work one single crochet stitch and in the same stitch we work second one and third one. Oh, it's a bit difficult. And the third single crochet stitch here. Yeah, I think it's just a bit tight. Yeah, I'll start from the beginning, okay? Because there's something not not very nice about this ear because you know uh, you need to work until you have until your ear is the same of the same size as the one you made before so again let's do it different let's do it differently we will here uh, Here is my yarn. Okay, let's start it. So I think this is the place where I want to have this ear. Yes. And we will we will pull this loop here. And then we work one chain and three single crochet stitches once and in the same in the same place we work it twice and in the same place we work it third time here Oh, that's it now here we take it out we take it out mm -hmm. and this is where we cut off the yarn and we use our needle to hide Sorry. Ah, okay. Now we we use our needle to hide the the piece, and just work it back and forth. several times I think through the ear oops ah you can use your hook here, if you wish, 
as well and just try to fix this piece of yarn inside okay this one we will hide inside uh, maybe it's simple to to hide it with my tapestry needle like this here can use it like this even with your another end, end of your needle just uh, go through the stuffing and again this is our stuffing then we need to get it out get it inside out see I have also used the same stuffing for this mouse okay now we did it this is our Ear, and now we will need to finish the nose as you see I have put the white pieces of nose and I will just embroider your this nose because because it's simple for me it's simple but maybe for you you would like to crochet it then you just go with your needle back and forth back and forth and here like this i'll show you just go make your nose with your needle or your hook back and forth here Just insert your hook on one side and pull it here under your nose. Yeah, like this. Yeah, that's a nice mouse. Look, look how fat is this. I think my cat will be happy. So, once you're ready, uh, here I think that's enough. So we'll hide the the rest that the thing that want that we won't need. We will hide it inside our mouse. Here, this is how we will hide it. Here, like this, and we'll hide the. pieces inside our mouse ah that's better I'll use our hook you can also the hook is that's maybe the most tedious thing hiding the ends of your work inside your stuff animal but that's important to finish so we'll finish it we'll finish it like this okay i'll pull it through up 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 i'm just afraid i will lose it somewhere i will lose it somewhere inside uh, Okay, so you see. So what do you think about eyes? Should I embroider more? Or probably not. Okay, I will also hide it here. This is our mouse just see it's a round object okay it's a round object you can i will 
make a knot and I will use this blue uh, piece of thread for my knot. Okay, so here we are about to finish our Easter egg. We'll just finish this chain so you can see that we have finished everything. Yeah, it's a small piece, but as you see, uh, even half of this egg took me almost one hour to crochet that. <laughs> and you know, you saw that I have garments in my shop. And some people say, oh, could you make uh, videos for how to make garments? And I always reply, look, if a video is under one hour, it's possible because people will have enough time to watch this video. But if a video is 20 hours long because it includes different um, sizes, for example, armholes in different sizes differs. And uh, <laughs> I can't just show you size medium or size small and say, Okay, and for the size um, for the size uh, large, uh, you just need to um, make the same things, uh, but uh, with the number of stitches shown in your PDF. So it will be discrimination to larger sizes, and uh, of course, it's impossible to show all aspects of garments uh, if. It's possible, for example, if the stitch pattern allows to uh, show you um, a large portion of a garment, I do, I do such things. But uh, generally, experienced crocheters should uh, follow charts and written instructions because uh, they won't sit 20 hours in front of such videos. Uh, the way every aspect is shown is shown okay so as you see we are here uh, almost 33 minutes and we just managed just little pieces of things by the way if you like the scarf here shown here with such nice uh, decorations that i have here i'm using it here uh, you can find it on my website. This scarf has uh, stitches, has a video with stitches, it has uh, photos with stitches, it has written instructions for every row, and it has um, charts. So you will definitely finish it if you wish it. Finish it uh, if you wish to have such a scarf, and we'll be very happy if you do such a scarf. Uh, the name of this pattern is Art Deco Crochet. There is a cardigan with these stitches. Uh, cardigan the, also has videos uh, for stitches, for um, assemble, for uh, front, back and sleeves, because uh, the same uh, stitch pattern is uh, uh, used all over the cardigan. But uh, for the cardigan, you need to watch the, um, a video of about two hours long. So you can also follow charts or written instructions if it's simple for you. In any case, the cardigan is also suitable for all kinds of crocheters video. Uh, chart crocheters, written instructions. My testers have followed written instructions and charts or only charts. Happy crocheting, can't wait to see your work and uh, have a great day, bye!